Oh, oh, Nelly! We're talking comic book covers, we're talking Mike Down Monday, we're talking new stuff, we're talking old stuff. We're gonna get these suckers to the table. Join me, please. <laughs> Okay, let's get the first one to the table. We'll start off with some Mike Del Mundo goodness. Look at this. This is Punisher Max from 2012. It's kind of a Dave Devil Pig Johnson esque, isn't it? But I love that shadow he's casting. Look with his uh, Nerf or Super Soaker gun. Scott Young writing this back in 2012. Mirko Kolak on interiors, but there you go. There's our first Mike Del Mundo. Next up, X-Men Gold 11. This is from 2017, I think. Don't know much about this book, but yeah, look at that. That is, that's not Iron Man, is it? Who is it? It's someone, and he is crushing mutants by the look of it. Old Man Logan there, Colossus. Is that a Kitty Pride in there? Look, vinyl, record in the background. Wild. Walking Dead. I know pretty much nothing about The Walking Dead. But here we go. That is a stylistic cover there. Vroom. Someone's about to get mashed down by a car or something, maybe. Issue 36. That's this year, 2022, because this is the deluxe. So it's the recolored. They're going back and recolouring them all, so issue 36, because the actual original series has finished, and also got uh, issue 34. What's that car interior? Flesh smell, nice pine scent, running down some zombies. That's a nice one. A nice one there. Okay, what else we got? More Mike Demo. Now this is the Carnage series from 2016. Here's issue one. This is, this might be a second print or, yeah, second printing. Because uh, you've got the blue logo instead of what would have been, I guess, the, the white logo. But that is pretty nice stuff there going on. Oh, tons of detail. Love it. We've got issue, sorry, that was issue two. Apologies, that was issue two. Here's issue one. You are going down that cave into the mouth of carnage. Oh, hope you survived the journey. That is, his carnage covers are unreal. That's why I collect him. That's all we got for my Dumbana this week. Now we're moving on to other covers of the, of, uh, from the collection. Profit, did anyone get this book when it was coming out? Stephen Platt, Rob Liefeld, or Stephen Platt kind of did the yeoman's work, but uh, Rob Liefeld. What they've done is, this is a Greg Capullo cover from this year, 2022. Two, two versions of this. So here is, look, this is Rob Liefeld and Dan Panosian doing pencils and ink. So it's almost like a redux. So he's redoing. Or is this the original? I don't know, who did it originally? I don't think it's a reprint. Oh, it is, it's a facsimile. It's a facsimile, so it must have been Dan Panosian originally. So, okay, here we go then, this is how the original book appeared, but with a new cover by Greg Capullo. And obviously we're here to talk about the covers, but look at that, John Prophet. So what I was saying was they did do another version of that book. Here is a Joe Quisada cover. And with this one, a different person took a page, remastered edition. So we've got the facsimile one we've just seen, and then we've got the remastered version here, different artists. Look at that cover. Jeepers. Love that. They're both from that this year. Okay, we've got a comic that came out last week, Daredevil issue four, with the J. Scott Campbell Luke Cage variant cover. Love Luke Cage. J. Scott Campbell is, I like him. I, I'm not overly keen on his cheesecake stuff, but when he's drawing Luke Cage like that, holy smokes. That is a great, great cover. Uh, where are we going next? Spider-Man book from 2020. This is Spider-Man Venom Double Trouble. 
Uh, Gurihiru is on interiors, also does the cover here. Don't know anything about this book, haven't read it yet, but look at that cover, I'm buying it for the cover. That is wild scenes. Massive fan of that. Going back in time now, Defenders issue 128, this is from 1984. Um, I know, I've got pages coming out and everything. I mean, it's not in the best of shape, but it's for the cover. Who have we got here? We've got Valkyrie, Angel, Beast, and the Demon. Or the Gargoyle, sorry, is it? Oh, loose pages and everything. But that's a Kevin Nolan cover. Look at it. It's almost Barry Windsor Smith-esque. Brooding portrait piece. I absolutely love that cover. Brilliant stuff. I've got another Defenders book uh, coming next week. Now we're going even further back in time. We're going back to 1970. Action Comics 389, what a cover. Ha ha, he's got muscles, but he's no super mantle. Straight three, you're out. Featuring the kid who struck out Superman. He's throwing some kind of crazy knuckleball there. Look at that, that is moving around. Soups is swinging and missing. Strike three as well. Oh, wow. Picked this up from the recent Place in Space Silver Age sale. I think it was four quid. I mean, look, you've got some... Marks on top on the cover, but not bothered about that. That is just a blazing cover. Cover artist. Oh, I'm going to embarrass myself now. Don't want to make a wrong guess, so let's leave it at that. We've got three to go. Two to go. Going back to 1968. For a Jack Kirby Thor cover. Look at this. Issue 160. And now Galactus. Look at that cover. Feast your peepers on that, people. 1968. Wow. Wow. And then, just to show you a size difference, I picked up this, 1978. This is a treasury edition, look at the size difference. Regular comic, treasury. And this is, holy moly. Astonishing Spider-Man, number 18 from 1978. It collects four stories. I'm not sure exactly what the stories are. Well, I mean, what I mean is I don't know where they what issues they have come from, but I'm gonna sit down and read this sucker tonight. But we're talking about covers here today. This is a cover show. Look at that. This cover was a, a, an original piece for this book, I believe. And you have got a cavalcade of heroes in the spotlight there. What a cover. You're kidding me. X-Men, Wealth by Night, Iron Fist, Angel, Spidey, Ghost Rider. And you got this on the back. Unbelievable scenes. That'll do it.